Worldwide Aeros Corp. is an American manufacturer of airships based in Montebello, California. It was founded in 1992 by the current CEO and chief engineer, Igor Pasternak, who came to America from Ukraine. It currently employs more than 100 workers. The company's current products are non-rigids aimed at both the military and commercial markets, including transport, surveillance, broadcasting and advertising. The company's best-selling ship is called the Sky Dragon. Worldwide Aeros Corp. is also developing what it calls the Aeroscraft, a rigid airship with a number of innovative features, the most important of which is a method of controlling the airship's static lift, which can be reduced by pumping helium from the internal gas bags and storing it under pressure. Conversely lift can be increased by reinflating the gas bags using the stored gas. The company has received $60 million from the U.S. Department of Defense to develop the concept, resulting in a prototype named Dragon Dream which underwent systems tests and some tethered flights in late 2013. This prototype was subsequently damaged when part of the roof of the hangar at the former Marine Corps Air Station in Tustin, in which it was constructed, collapsed on 7 October 2013. History In 1981, Igor Pasternak founded a design bureau at Lviv Polytechnic University. He started a private company in 1986 producing tethered balloons for advertising. It moved to the United States in 1994. After 9 11, the company shifted its focus from advertising to surveillance, as its large ships can hold 1,000 pounds of radar surveillance equipment. The blimps have such varied uses as monitoring oil pipelines in Mexico to performing surveillance for the Ukrainian government along the Russian border. In 2005, Aeros was granted the largest contract under DARPA's Project Walrus Hula. Project Walrus was not renewed in 2010. However, the Pentagon continued to fund Aeros through the Rapid Reaction Technology Office, contracting with them in 2010 to build a prototype that could demonstrate key technologies. The Pentagon has provided $50 million in funding for the development of the Pelican prototype. Topic: Aeroscraft. The Aeroscraft is a planned heavy lift, variable buoyancy cargo airship featuring an onboard buoyancy management system, rigid structure, vertical takeoff and landing performance, and operational abilities at low speed, in hover, and from unprepared surfaces. It has a number of innovative features, the most important of which is a method of controlling the airship's static lift, which can be reduced by pumping helium from the internal gas bags and storing it under pressure. Conversely, lift can be increased by reinflating the gas bags using the stored gas. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Project Pelican and Dragon Dream. Project Pelican was a U.S. government-funded project to build and test a half-scale prototype of the proposed full-size aeroscraft, using representative structure and avionics. Having a length of 266 feet 81 meters and design speed of 60 knots 110 km per hour, 69 miles per hour, it does not carry a payload. The company received $60 million from the U.S. Department of Defense to develop the concept, resulting in a prototype named Dragon Dream, which underwent systems tests and some tethered flights in late 2013. The first floating took place on January 3, 2013, at the hangar at the former Marine Corps Air Station in Tustin in which it was constructed, where it hovered indoors at a height of 12 feet meters for several minutes. The Pentagon has declared that the tests of the Dragon Dream were a success with the craft meeting its demonstration objectives. The airship was rolled out of its hangar on July 4, 2013 and performed its first flight on September 11. It was subsequently damaged when part of the roof of the hangar collapsed on it on 7 October 2013. The company sued the Navy for $65 million in 2015 for the collapse. <laughs> Planned full-scale craft The company is beginning production of two examples, an ML-866 and an ML-868 model. A model capable of lifting 500 tons, the ML-86X, is also proposed. The ML-866 model will be 555 feet 169 meters in length, have a payload capacity of 66 tons, a top speed of 120 knots 222 km per hour, a range of 3,100 nmi 5,700 km, and an altitude ceiling of 12,000 feet 3,700 meters. 
The larger ML868 model will be 770 feet (230 meters) in length and carry 250 tons, with the same speed and altitude ceiling as the ML866. The company ultimately plans to build a ML86X with a length of 920 feet (280 meters), a height of 215 feet (66 meters), and a width of 355 feet (108 meters), with the capacity to carry 500 tons. Aeros is currently seeking $3 billion to fund the construction of 24 aeroscraft vehicles, including the 250-ton capacity ML868 model. The CEO has stated that he aims to have a global fleet operating by 2023. Topic. Capabilities Topic. Vertical takeoff and landing VTOL. Because the aeroscraft is equipped with VTOL capability, it can deliver cargo directly from point of origin to point of need. Furthermore, other hybrid airships are runway dependent at higher operating weights, but the aeroscraft does not need a runway, even at full payload. Because of its Kosh technology, its computer-controlled virtually automated directional thrust and station keeping technology facilitates often on loading stores while in hover. Topic: <inaudible> Oversized cargo bay. The cargo bay is located at the bottom of the aircraft cavity and is loaded by using a pulley system to load the cargo from the ground. At 1.8 million cubic feet, the cargo bay of the largest aeroscraft design is much larger than that of any existing commercial freight aircraft including the Boeing 747-28F and the Antonov 124 aircraft. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Design The aeroscraft is a rigid airship, having an internal structure to maintain its shape. As such it can reach otherwise difficult or inaccessible locations and can hover indefinitely at zero airspeed and with a full payload on board. The design incorporates cargo bays that are larger than any current air, truck or rail transport, while the payload capacity is significantly more than the current 16-ton maximum for helicopters. Propulsion is provided by conventional propellers, and in addition the aeroscraft design has six downward-pointing turbofan jet engines that assist in vertical takeoff and landing. These turbofans, together with the aeros, Kosh buoyancy control system, make the aeroscraft capable of taking off and landing vertically without the need for a runway, a ground crew, or external ballast. As with any airship, the aeroscraft may be used to transport cargo to remote or difficult locations and to hover over uneven terrain. In both civil and military use, the manufacturer also envisions the delivery of large amounts of commercial merchandise from a centralized location. Topic. Technology Topic. Control of static heaviness Kosh. Aeros has developed a technology to avoid the need for ballast, which they call, "...control of static heaviness Kosh. The main gas bag is inflated with helium to create lift for takeoff, then on landing some of the gas is recompressed into a storage tank to partially deflate the gas bag and reduce lift. Worldwide Aeros was awarded a patent of their Control of Static Heaviness System Kosh internal buoyancy management system in May 2015. The Kosh system internally ballasts the non-flammable helium into the aircraft's helium pressure envelopes HPEs, helping the vehicle manage buoyant lift. The HPE units contain and control the compressed helium and allow the overall helium volume envelope to be reduced or increased, enabling the air vehicle to become heavy or buoyant in a controlled manner. The compression of helium into the HPEs creates a negative pressure within the aeroscraft aeroshell, permitting air expansion chambers to fill with readily available environmental ballast air, which acts in concert with reduced helium static lift to make the aeroscraft heavier, when desired, to compensate for adjustments in payload. Topic. Ceiling suspension cargo deployment system The aeroscraft's cargo system provides the aircraft with unmatched volume and flexibility when deploying cargo to virtually any point on the planet, empowering the aircraft to pick up and offload cargo in more efficient ways, even from hover. The internal cargo handling system has been designed to facilitate cargo loading, sorting, and unloading in a more innovative and efficient manner, overcoming pre-deployment requirements for ground-handling cargo equipment in austere environments. 
The system affixes containers and cargo pallets to rails in the fuselage ceiling, rather than on the floor, adjusts cargo positioning to accommodate changes in center of gravity, such as when other cargo is loaded and unloaded, facilitates access to any piece of cargo at any time, eliminating unneeded cargo movements and reducing ground time, and eliminates labor costs with traditional cargo handling and weight and balance requirements. Topic. Rigid structure This rigid structure provides an excellent range of hard points for mounting engines, canards, cockpit, propulsion systems, and other auxiliary systems both inside and outside of the hull. Topic. Landing system Replacing the more familiar landing gear found on airplanes, the aeroscraft is equipped with landing cushions that aid the vehicle's unique functionality. They aid landing on unimproved surfaces, even water, and perform like a hovercraft during taxi by pushing air through them. In addition, the landing cushions are equipped with very powerful gripping, suction capabilities that ensure the vehicle stays grounded and in place when not in flight. This reversible airflow helps hold the vehicle to the ground, even when the aeroscraft arrives at destination for cargo offloading, allowing it to operate in heavier wind conditions. <laughs> Vectored thrust engines The aeroscraft is equipped with vectored thrust engines that rotate and allow maneuverability. In addition to aiding helicopter-like vertical takeoff and landing capability, the vectored thrust propels the vehicle in forward flight and aids the vehicle with ground-based taxiing. Topic: <laughs> Low speed control (LSC). When in forward flight, the aeroscraft is controlled by the aerodynamic control surfaces, vertical stabilizers, empennages and canards. However, the low speed control system aids the pilot in lower wind conditions such as during VTOL and hover. The LSC system acts as a rear thruster to propel the vehicle in forward flight and permits the thrust to be redirected while in hover to help the vehicle maintain desired positioning and orientation. Topic: Fleet Topic. Airships Aeros 50 – Aeros developed its first airships, the Aeros 50 40A Sky Dragon – Aeros launched airship model 40A Sky Dragon, with increased payload and capabilities 40B Sky Dragon – Aeros developed the 40B Sky Dragon equipped with a fly-by-wire system, and received FAA type certification 40D Sky Dragon – Aeros launched 40D Sky Dragon, to global operations and receives type certification from the FAA. Dragon Dream – Aeros successful technology demonstration vehicle for the 66-ton capacity aeroscraft, Dragon Dream takes flight in 2013. Named RAVB as part of its development under Project Pelican for the Department of Defense. See also Cargolifter AG ESTOLAS P791 Walrus Hula LEMV